Hi, Mr. Lozon and everyone over at Mini Pavers Inc. Uh, my name is Chris Stinson. I run a small um, marketing and uh, web design company here in London. Very local. This is your free uh, website audit. Um, I understand that Mini Pavers is uh, one of the best, if not the best, paver, pavers in London. Uh, my driveway is actually starting to show some wear, so I was looking for pavers around. And uh, I had heard that you were good before, and it took me a little while to find you on the internet. Um, so I found your website, and I'm looking at it, and the first thing I can see is that it is not mobile friendly. Uh, that's a big that's a big problem in today's world. Uh, you notice that everyone's got their phone in their hands all the time, or they're looking at a tablet. And in the eyes of Google, um, it's not very good for your website rankings in Google. If you do not have a mobile-friendly website, you get downvoted by Google. Um, now, that's not to say that you can't still appear uh, in a decent search spot in Google with a website that's not mobile-friendly. Um, it's obviously the case because I'm looking through different paving companies here in London, and uh, there's a lot that are not mobile-friendly. Um, so if you ever decided to upgrade your website, you can uh, you can leapfrog these people in the search standings very easily, and I'm going to show some of that to you. Um, again, your website it's uh, it's a little outdated, but that's okay. Um, it's all about people finding you. Um, another thing I would recommend is that you add a, a little icon beside your name up here, and whoever did your website is not using page and title tags up here properly. Uh, to properly market you. Um, definitely would add a lot more pictures to your website. And the number one the number one thing that you can do to help the rankings uh, of your website is to add content. Google loves authoritative content. Um, you think of any time you've done a search on the internet for a word or um, anything at all, usually the first page that comes back is Wikipedia, and why is that? Wikipedia is just a plain old website, but it has thousands and thousands and thousands of words on it. And Google looks at that many words and the relevancy of those words and returns Wikipedia every time because they are the authority. So that's one thing I would do uh, on your web page, especially on your home page. I would um, definitely load it up with a lot more text and a few more pictures. Um, I do like how you have your phone number pretty well be seen. I would probably move it to the right hand corner and um, you do have your email address right on your on your main page. Um, one thing if you decided to update your web page um, you could always get an email that said uh, you know, mini pavers inc at mini pavers dot ca or mini pavers dot com. Um, looks a little more professional, and uh, people people tend to like that. Uh, the one thing about your contact page that it, which is good, you do have a Google Map here, and that's a that's a big deal. They um, they like to see their own products on other people's web pages. Uh, that's about it for your site. It's very uh, small. It's simple. Um, I would definitely change page page uh, names to be something a little more descriptive but it's not a huge deal either either now getting to uh, what I was talking about ranking in Google um, the first search I did was pavers in London and you are not showing up on the map pack let me back up a second there's three parts to a search page search engine results page First page is the first part is the paid advertisements, and you can see that it's an ad by uh, looking at the little icon right here. So this company is paying for every time someone clicks on that. Next part of a search engine results page is the map pack. Um, top three are always shown right in here, and you are not one of those. And then organic. So this is the best search term that I could find for you, pavers in London. You are number two in organic, and that's excellent. You're on page one. Um, I'm not sure if that's the exact term that most people would search for. I, I did search for a few others. Um, 
London, Ontario paving companies. And that's some, that's what I've searched on first and you're nowhere to be found on this one. All of your, all of your competition is ahead of you. There's even, um, a few paving companies with no website at all that are outranking you. Um, this is strictly due to the lack of content on your website and uh, the lack of these words on your website. Feel free to update your website with anything that I'm giving you, any advice that I'm giving you. This is uh, a tool that I use to look at uh, what you're doing in the background. Um, backlinks are the second most important uh, thing that you can do for your website to rank it in Google. I see that you have two backlinks and that's not a lot at all. Um, actually it's it's uh, really really not good. Um, one of your one of your other competitors has seven total backlinks. Again that's this is londonpaving.ca. That's that's not very good either. And that's it's good and bad news for you. They have more backlinks than you and which is probably why they're out, out ranking you on a lot of searches. But the good news is they only have seven backlinks. It's not many at all. Um, it's a service that I provide um, to customers. It's called SEO, Search Engine Optimization. I can find you tens and tens of backlinks that will help in uh, every Google uh, search engine request. When Google, it's another thing Google looks at when someone types something into their their browser. They look at the number of backlinks going to the page because that means that people are linking to this page and therefore must be relevant. So that's all a backlink is. It's a link from another website to your website. And the more you have from reliable, authoritative websites, not spammy websites, but reliable websites, the more backlinks you have to your site, the higher Google puts you in, uh, in the search terms. It's not that difficult of a concept, but Finding backlinks are, good backlinks are, um, can be costly and it, it's definitely time consuming. Back to the search page. So the, um, sorry, the, the London, Ontario paving companies, you're not, you're not being found in the maps at all. Um, when I go back to the main search, you're not on page one either. So um, these guys, West London Paving and uh, LondonPaving.ca and oh, many, pa many pavers did come up this time. Excuse me for that. Your, your organic ranking is pretty decent for some of these search terms. And that's because you've been around for a long time. But we want to get you up in here to the number one, the number one, number two, number three spots up in here, up to these three spots. And we can do that if you give us a shot. Just looking through a couple of your competitors' websites, they're also um, pretty weak, if you ask me. This is definitely not uh, mobile friendly. This is... Um, Pyramid Paving, they, they rank above you in a lot of search terms. West London Paving, definitely not um, mobile friendly, but they're ranking ahead of you. Uh, and uh, with a few small tweaks, we could definitely um, either design you a new website and you know bring it right up to date in a nice looking website and uh, or just fix your old website, everything except for the mobile part of it, um, to get a mobile part you'd have to do a new website. We can do this. It's, uh, it's not as expensive as you would think. It's definitely um, one job and you would be paying for me for 10 times. So if you're interested, please uh, reply to the email that I'm going to send a link to this video in and we can talk uh, more. I would love to sit and have a coffee or a phone conversation with you. Thanks.